I want to follow up with that. Is the federal government doing anything? Are they assisting these states or cities in trying to get this problem under control? So that's one big thing that our team looked at. The Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention is a federal entity that basically ensures best practices for juveniles who are locked up. And they're also a big funding arm in terms of making sure that certain states can implement programs for their juvenile youth. Starts now. News crews are live everywhere working on stories impacting you. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Chris Fry. And I'm Tiffany Tucker. We are starting off with new information on the investigation into a series of dangerous street takeovers. Yeah, city council members pressing Cleveland PD for more arrests today. More than two weeks since several of these street takeovers shut down roads across the city. Investigator Sarah Goldenberg has the very latest. Everywhere at five, Akron's police chief responding to some community requests that he stepped down. Those requests were made after a use of force issue earlier this year. Aria Janelle has more from today's news conference. Well, the Browns are back on the practice field today as they return home Sunday to face division rival Cincinnati. And the good news for the team as they're getting back arguably their best offensive player after a terrible injury last season. Ashley Holder has more from Berea tonight. Hi, Ashley. Back. Well, 19 News is live everywhere. Working on the stories that impact you. Still got a lot to cover here at 5 o'clock, including a new financial boost with plans to connect downtown Cleveland to the lakefront. And that's not all. I was taken back by that beautiful. It was event. beautiful in mm -hmm. Oberlin. All right. In the meantime, a local road known for being a big headache and a big money pit for drivers. Look at this. This road is an absolute disaster. Potholes destroying tires. That's a big one right there. It's mm -hmm. been a problem for years now, but now Hoping for change, people reaching out to, yes, the 19 troubleshooters for those answers. Colton Molesky has the story tonight. 